Welcome and thank you for being here today to celebrate the wedding of Kayla and Jake. This wedding, along with others during this time in history, has met and overcome higher than normal hurdles. I think everyone is a little shaken by the unprecedented events brought by this pandemic, including whether or not this wedding could even continue as planned. But I take great comfort, and I hope you do too, that God was not surprised by any of this. He was not shaken. God brought you two together, and he agreed today would be the day you would be married. Um, I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. And I have to say, uh, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit anxious. This is a difficult thing to do, to give your daughter away, to let her go. How do you give your daughter away? What in the world? Jake, I've been praying for you since long before I ever knew your name. And I prayed for Kayla to find somebody that would make her happy, and she found you. I want you to know, though, how happy I was to walk her down the aisle today to know that she's chosen so well. You're welcomed into our family, and you'll be loved like a son. I'm not giving my daughter away today, and I'm not even letting her go. I'm just so proud to stand here and tell everyone in this room that we're not losing a daughter, we're gaining a son. It's hard to believe it's been almost a year since Jake flew to Cancun to surprise Kayla with a Christmas Eve proposal. That was an amazing and romantic gesture. From that night on the beach to today, this day has been planned to the tiniest detail. So, Jake and Kayla, take a minute, look around, and see what all your planning has brought to fruition. Jake, I asked you what your thoughts were when you first met Kayla and you said, when we first met in person, she was even more beautiful than her pictures. We seem to have an instant connection and effortless conversation. I keep things very close to the chest, so I most likely didn't say much about her to friends, but I do remember telling many people she was Teacher of the Year. <laughs> Kayla, I asked you what your thoughts were when you first met Jake, and you said, I remember it feeling so easy. Dating is hard, but with him it was just easy. It never felt like work. He was such a gentleman, we had an instant connection. He was handsome and reserved, and that was very intriguing to me. He still gives me butterflies when I first see him. Your wedding will be one of the most memorable day, days of your lives. My prayer for you, though, is that your wedding day, as amazing as it is, will pale in comparison to tomorrow and the next day and every day that follows in marriage. 
But marriage isn't always fun, it isn't easy, and it's not always what you expected. But you both come from great families, proving what love is. And Jake, I want you to know how proud of you that we are, and Mom will be proud of you too. Kayla, unfortunately, you never met my mom. But I promise you, she couldn't have picked out anyone better for Jake. You're an enthusiastic elementary school teacher that just wants to improve the world better one student at a time, and that's not anything more than my mom could have ever asked for. She'd be so proud of you, and she'd be so happy for all of you. Take you, Kayla Marie. Take you, Kayla Marie. To be my wife. To be my wife. I, Kayla Marie. Take you, Jacob Paul. Take you, Jacob Paul. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. For the very first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Jake Klingenberg. <laughs> I'd like to make a toast to Mr. and Mrs. Jake Klingenberg. May your journey be a glorious one. Don't drink yet. Hey, I got 15, 20 more minutes of this. What you been doing? What you gonna may your marriage be the defining treasure of your life. And may it be blessed with all the joy and wonder that this crazy world has to offer. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Go!